Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the concealer controversy. I mean, is it really a controversy or is there rules that you have to abide by when applying concealer for a mature woman? And we're going to touch on this whole editorial photo shoot that Paulina Puskova did for Vogue Portuguese. I'm very interested to know your thoughts on this. Are you ready ladies? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, I just washed my face, so I'm going to be using the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Micro Serum. They just sent this to me and I was really excited. I put it on my Instagram because it's a rose <laughs> micro serum and it's for hydration plumping the skin. So of course I need all the plumping I can get. So we're gonna do that. I'm just doing a really minimal makeup tutorial and showing you there's like this controversy still going on about concealer and mature women. I'm not quite sure why we're still having this controversy, but it's about how you apply your concealer. And I know if you're on social media that you're getting told so many different things, so we're gonna address it. And I'm gonna just put two pumps because a little bit of this goes a long way. I got very excited when I first got it and I put way too much on and took forever for it to soak in. So two pumps, I actually probably could get away with one pump, but this feels so cooling, so nice, and the rose you know, I'm in heaven. So I also wanted to talk to you about something that was posted on Instagram. It's actually in a magazine. It's in Vogue Portugal. I feel like it's hard for me to give you my opinion because women are going to be like, oh, you're not supporting a woman or this and that has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with this photo that I have a problem with. The model doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just the, the context. It's the photo that I'm really concentrating on. I'm trying to think about what the art director was thinking the message was. This is where I'm kind of like, what's going on in our industry still? There's a picture of Polina Puskova in this black dress with one side of her dress down, exposing her breast, and a man behind her that you don't see holding her breast. So his arms coming over her shoulder, holding her breast, and she's just like sitting there. I'm like, what's the message though? What is this saying? I don't, I don't know. Something physically inside me is like, so, I don't know, what is the word? I'm so like, ew, I kind of like, no, like take, take off your hand. I don't know something about it. And then I was like, wait, didn't we already do this with Janet Jackson? Like in the nineties or early two thousands. I can't even remember the date on the cover of GQ when she had her arms back and she had someone behind her doing the same thing to her. We've been there, done that. We don't need to go back and do this. I don't know. I don't find it to be artsy. I don't find it to be creative. And then when I was thinking about it, I was like, okay, wait a second. You know what? Let me be the art director. I'll be the art director and I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're going to cast a bunch of men for this photo. We're gonna recreate it, but we're going to switch it. So we're gonna have a man and we're gonna have him with no clothes on. We'll have a woman holding his privates and we'll see how does that feel to everybody? Like what message are we sending there? Now, granted, we would obviously probably accessorize, put some jewelry, make it interesting. <laughs> interesting. I don't know, that was the first thing I thought. I wanna reverse this. I wanna reverse this photo. I want to have a man in this submissive position and I want a woman in a power position. Because I think that's what we're, what we're, we're talking about in this photo, is it not? I mean, let me know in the comments below what you think. You can just Google it and it'll show up. That's what we're saying, right? Is this a power move? Is this kind of like a dominance move or, I don't know. I just feel like we've been through so much in the last three years that having a photo like this is not where we're going. <laughs> That's just my thoughts. My opinion it has nothing to do with Paulina. It's the fact of what I'm just taking the picture for what it is. I want to know what the message really is. Maybe I'm missing it. Maybe I'm totally off. I don't know, but I would love to know your opinion. I got a lot of your opinions over on Instagram when I asked. So I'm just really curious. So here we go. <laughs> After that, I have um, the beautiful serum on. I'm going to be using a little fiercely smooth, just two pumps also on this to do a little face primer. Face primer is on. Now my skin is completely set up, ready to go. Feels incredible. Now, you know what? Let me just do a little eye cream. I've been using the Clarins Total Eye Lift and I'm going to just do one pump and you have to warm it up into your hands like this and then you press it into your under eye area and you can go on the top. They have this whole specific way that you can apply this, the lymphatic drainage. I like to just make sure it's all in. And so I just kind of go like that. Now we're really prepped. We got everything going on. Everything feels so good, so hydrated. 
and my makeup will look incredible because now I've actually prepped my skin. So first and foremost, I like to go in with my eye primer first. This is my first step. This is my creamy eye primer, base of the lashes, all the way up to the brow bone, taking out all the pigmentation. You can see that all this darkness is going to be eradicated by my eye primer in the inner corner here, all the way out, making sure that it's just nice and blended. Eye primer is on now. Let's go into just doing some, this is something that I love that I happen to have to do when I was away on vacation, forgot my eyeshadow. So I turned to my hybrid creme brulee bronzer. It's a matte bronzer. You see it's creamy and it has the bronze. It's like cut. So it's not going to be too much for mature women. And I use this as my eyeshadow. It's like so great. It's matte and it's like neutral and it's perfect. So I just swirl it together like this, making sure I don't get too much. And then I just sweep it across my eye. So you can see that it's not perfect. So you can go back. And what is really nice, you can just do a little with your hand. There's no real rules, ladies, when it comes to how you apply, whatever your technique is, whatever works, but it's just nice. It's like nice and neutral. If you're looking for that alternative to matte until I come out with my matte shadows and you want it to be in that kind of beautiful neutral family, this is it. So perfect. And I showed you in one of my last videos, you can take the short smudge brush, go into the darkest color. If you want to do a little contour, you can still do that and go in like that. You know, you can get a little definition. So it's so great or bring it underneath. And if you don't feel like it's blended, you know, too well, you can just take your eyeshadow blending brush and just blend it out. And you have a really nice natural look. Let's do the left eye. I'm taking my clay de peau and my Natura Bisse, and I'm going to just shake this. This is my eye makeup remover. And I want to crisp up the line since I've kind of just dusted this over my eyes and it's not too precise, always lifting up. So you can see, I just took off whatever was kind of below my eye. I want that always to go straight up, never to be coming down. So I got a nice amount off there. So it's nice and crisp and clean. I'm going to curl my lashes with my Shomora eyelash curler. Lashes are curled going with my dark chocolate. I wanted to show you that I was going to just sharpen my pencil and I made sure that my little sharpener was not full. It was full. So what I do is I take off the top, take out the, the little shavings because if you have it too full and then you try to do your pencil, it's not going to work. So make sure you're always emptying out your shred or your little straps, scraps, <laughs> whatever it is. And you take out this little tool to help you scrape off if there's anything that's kind of stuck in the blade and then you put it straight back. So I wanted to show you that up close and personal because it will affect how you sharpen your pencil. Now I have a beautiful rounded tip. I'm going to just do a little liner, I'm going to define my eyes with the dark chocolate. A lot of you've asked if I put liner on the bottom. I do. It just depends on the mood. Like today we can just do a little dots right here. I don't come all the way in. So you can see that it just is going to give me a little definition on this outer corner compared to not having anything. It just depends. You don't have to. You can. I do love putting a little on the bottom because it balances out the eye. Now we're going to add the volume up mascara. This is going to bring the eye completely together. This is going to be a volumizing mascara. I have little teeth, like I always tell you in these videos about my mascara wand. I go to the base of my lashes. I rest my lashes on them. You can see it's like a comb. It's like literally grabbing all of my lashes. And so when you're a mature woman and you start seeing your lashes getting thinner and getting shorter, it's really important to have a wand that's going to piece out all of your lashes. But that's what this does. It gives you a, a false lash look very, very easily. You don't have to do a lot of work. You can roll this also if you're, if that's the technique you like, you put it to the base and then you can roll the wand. Again, another technique to really get the eyes looking beautiful, open, and it's just a very easy formulation and wand to work with. Mascara's on. Sometimes I get really into the mascara and I get a little bit on the top and I just take a Q-tip and I just go back over. Sometimes it just melts in with my eyeliner, which is fine. But if I see a couple little dots above, I'll just take right after and I just smooth it. I just smooth it 
around, you know, smooth it off with the Q-tip so I don't see that when I look at myself. This is my little perfectionist that I can control with those little mascara dots. So now what we're gonna do is talk about concealer. So when you use your concealer, I've seen a lot of different ways that women are telling mature women to do their concealer underneath their eyes. So the big one is, is that they'll say that you should only go here in the inner corner and then out here, right? This is what I'm seeing a lot of. Okay, that's fine. If that works for you, that's fine. But what I have seen and worked on mature women in my chair, my makeup chair on Fierce Aging, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, this isn't gonna do anything. I've also seen women do this on social like this, and then they bring it down with their brush. So it's funny because the big controversy is, is that they're saying less is more kind of thing. It doesn't matter. It's about what you're dealing with as an individual woman. Are you dealing with more puffiness, darkness? Do you have more pigmentation? That's going to dictate how you apply your concealer. There is no right or wrong way to apply it. Like I tell you with all of the makeup application. I tell you a lot of tips and tricks and things that can work, but then you can adapt them to your face shape or what you're working with or the pigmentation that you have. Everybody is unique and individual. So if I was like, this is the way ladies that you need to apply your concealer and it doesn't work for you, then it doesn't really make sense. So for me, you know, I, ha I like to, and they'll say that this is wrong, they, the internet, We'll say this is wrong, that I go in the inner corner, but I bring it down like this, like a little triangle, and then I fill it in like this. Because I have, since really 2020, if you've seen on my videos, I have this pigmentation that came down underneath my darkness right here. So if I did this, I'm missing this whole section. And when I put on my BB cream, I like to kind of just marry it over where it comes down so it's seamless. So I don't have foundation or BB cream and then I have my concealer. I don't like that look. That's just me personally. So the whole controversy is really not a controversy. It's them telling you how they think that you should be doing it. Most of these women are not even makeup artists or have worked on anyone else's face. So I want you to be empowered to say, you know what, this works for me. Or you know what, maybe you do like this, four, five, six, seven little dots, and that works for you. I want you to feel like when you do your makeup in the morning and you look at your beautiful face, you say, you know what, I feel good. Cause this is working for my face, my skin, my darkness, my whatever. Not like, well, the lady on the YouTube channel said I only can do it like this. I don't want you to feel that way. Cause that's not fun to have all these rules when you're doing makeup. Use the brush that you want to, do the, stippling like this or do the buffing into your skin like whatever makes you happy and makes you feel confident and makes you feel alive and beautiful and radiant and just really good i'm all for that i'm all for women just really enjoying the process and not feeling discouraged and not feeling like oh i can't do it it's not looking like hers just keep yourself in the game keep doing it so maybe that doesn't work the way i do it switch it up, try new things, don't give up, just keep going. Going in with my BB cream in light, I'm going to really do, maybe I'll do a pump and a half, and I'm going to take my same brush, I'm gonna take my foundation buffing brush, and I'm going to buff this into the skin, so you can see when I buff it in, it's, it's just marrying right into my concealer, looking fabulous. You'll see that I get a really nice glow to my skin, that really fresh doing this, but then it's going to soften like a really beautiful, not a powder, but it's not gonna stay glossy and sticky. It's not sticky. It's just really hugs the skin, just really light, and like you're not wearing anything. And this is just such a beautiful formula. I can't wait to see what you think and hear about this new colors and formulation and everything that I've worked on. BB cream is on. I'm going to just I'm gonna comb my brows. Sometimes I will fill in with my brownie skinny brow pencil if I want to. Now, I'm gonna do a little fun little pop of some radiance. I'm gonna take Cabana, the one palette I forgot, the middle color, and I'm going to sweep across with my eyeshadow brush and I'm going to just pop that top of that lid just a little bit. If I don't want a matte and I want something just to have a little radiance, right, just a little bit, more. I'm going to do that. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go in with Cameo for my lip pencil. We're going to line my lips like I normally do. 
I am just kind of using this as my lipstick, like I've told you before. Align my lips, bring it down, kind of just fill in so there's no real demarcation with the lip line and my lips. And then I'm going to just take the Rosewood Dior lip oil that I randomly bought and I love it. I get this really nice, beautiful, glossy lip and I almost have, it's just like really natural. So I have the Cameo base. It's almost like the similar color, if you will, to this Rosewood. I use this on the plane the whole time. I needed something that was heavier. This is something that is more of a treatment, I would say. I don't consider it really makeup, but if you feel like your lips are really dry and you want to just top it for the whole day and you want that gloss and you want something that's gonna be really like a lot like this, let's just do, we're gonna pop maybe, let's see, we, we did launch our blush sticks, which I'm thrilled about. I'm so excited for you to have these now. I'm gonna do St. Bart's. This is gonna be a nice like petally pink, you can see, and it is just going to just kind of Give me this really nice, fresh, natural look. If you ever feel like you put on too much blush, powder, or cream, you can always just take your foundation buffing brush that you just used and just kind of tap over it so it kind of feels a little bit more in control or what have you. So that's the look, very simple. The concealer, you can apply any way you want. I've been really wanting to just do a video about that concealer application and let you know, I have told you in multiple videos that you don't have to follow any rules. I want you to really assess your face and say, okay, you know what? I have darkness here, I need to cover. You know what? Right here, maybe I'll do a little bit of more of a color corrector because it's it, it needs that, then I'll put my concealer over. Lots of different options for you ladies. Don't just feel like you have to play by all these rules that the internet keeps shoving at you and telling you, because I know you get confused. You need to talk to yourself and say, what do I really need to cover up? Or what do I really want to do to get this kind of look? What do I need to, to do with my technique? That's that. Remember, leave me a comment below about the, the whole, you know, photo, editorial, fashion industry. What do you think? I'm just really interested. I kind of feel like maybe I'm too far like triggered <laughs> and I'm being too dramatic or am I on par and where are we going with this? I thought we were kind of further than this. Uh, repeating things we've already seen that we've already done in different decades. Like I don't know if we need to repeat those. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Simple, just easy. And until my next video, I'll see you later.